So we're here with John Loftus. He's a turning into a fairly prolific author. Um, his most recent books are The Outsider Test for Faith and God or Godless. Um, how are you doing today, John? I'm doing great. Good. Nice to be here. Um, you're an atheist, I assume, correct? I am. Okay. Um, why are you an atheist and why do you write so many books about religion if okay, you are an atheist? Okay, a couple of questions. Uh, you know, when it comes to why I'm an atheist, I wrote a book about that. <laughs> it's uh, called Why I Became an Atheist. And um, you know, I, I have personal sections in the chapter, and then I have, you know, a lot of uh, chapters that uh, deal with the uh, arguments and counter arguments, and where I uh, show, I think, pretty sufficiently that uh, Christianity should be rejected. Um, so um, at the end, then, of that book, first the personal story, and then the uh, arguments, I, I simply, um, in, a, in a ending personal note as well. I say, well, you know, um, there's just really no reason to believe. I mean, there's just no reason to um, to accept it at all. And you know, the result, of course, is to be a non-believer. <coughs> and I, I think I, I think I nailed it. <laughs> I uh, uh, think it's my magnum opus. Uh, it's the it's the book that um, um, got me noticed by some scholars that you know, I was able to uh, tap for a, a couple of anthologies that I did. And um, those, those two are pretty awesome as well. So, <laughs> you, so you mentioned that you, that you like thoroughly destroy Christianity. Um, I, I think the arguments are there, yes. Right. Um, I, my, my next question is more, why the focus on Christianity? I mean, clearly there's um, thousands of religions, four major ones, or four or five major ones, depending on how you count them. Um, why do you focus on Christianity? Why not focus um, on, say, Islam or Judaism? Because I know most about Christianity. I, I have three master's degrees in a delusion, <laughs> and uh, and a PhD work. Uh, you know, a year and a half in PhD studies, and you know, after being trained to be an apologist, I um, couldn't believe anymore. And so then I thought, well, what am I going to do with all this education? <laughs> it's not going to get me a job, you know, uh, you know, very easily. And so I uh, thought, uh, well, you know, well, let me just share what I've learned. I could go on with my life. Uh, people have say, well, why don't you just go on with your life? Well, I'm trying to, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm using what I learned and I'm sharing it. And I think that uh, I have a sort of an obligation to do that. So. And I think, I think that Christianity is harmful. I think faith is harmful. And uh, my book on the outsider test for faith uh, really applies to all religions. You know, so that's the, that's the culmination of, of the books I've published so far. Faith itself, I argue, is irrational. And, and it's, uh, it, compared to science-based reasoning, uh, faith has no standing you know, at all. And so that, that includes the um, Muslim faith and Mormons and, you know, you name them. So, uh, you know, I actually go for them all, but my focus is really on Christianity. Um, I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but I mean, the United States is definitely dominated by Christianity. Um, I would assume, given cir different circumstances, you might be as hard on Islam if you were an Islamic country or if you were in Israel. Yeah, if I, were, if I were raised as a Muslim, then I suppose I would put out, um, you know, the, the, the Muslim delusion and hopefully, and duck, and, and you know, I wouldn't get killed. <laughs> um, and, uh, or, you know, the end of, um, of Islam, you know, sure. that, which parallels the titles of my other books. You know. So, uh, yeah, I, th I think that faith ha is harmful. I just think it all around, it's no way and, and in no shape and no form able to get us closer to any knowledge than, than just wishful thinking. I, I do kind of want to get your answer on this since you were an apologist and you may have said this yourself or maybe heard other Christians say this. Um, and I have a hard time dealing with this question myself, so hopefully you can help me out. When someone says, well, I, I just feel it or something along those kind of emotional lines, how do you break through the emotion to, to, to get them to understand that, that, that their faith is falling? First of all, I'm not so sure I can. <laughs> you know, that's a powerful um, a reason you know, for some people, feelings. It's just what you try to do is you try to, you know, share with them how that uh, other people in other religions will say the, the same thing. Uh, they feel just as strongly that, uh, you know, Hinduism is correct or, you know, um, Jehovah's Witnesses and and uh, you know when you find so many people saying you know I feel very strong I have really strong feelings about something, and yet they're contradictory. I mean they both you know all of them cannot be true. Then it should be obvious that, that you need more than just a feeling. You need you know objective evidence and not uh, you know the subjective type of feeling. And you know that either works or it doesn't with some people. But the delusion is so strong 
that I'm sorry, I know what I know because I feel what I feel. And some people are uh, beyond reasoning. Uh, some people are impervious to reason. So you do what you can. And, uh, you know, it's been effective in, in some cases, that's all.